Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In our last video, we have reported about the trials of Astra Mark 1 with indigenous RF seeker, Astra Mark 2 made in trial and Astra Mark 3 made in trial powered by SFDI technology. While Astra Mark 1 and Mark 2 could undergo trial this month by Indian Air Force, the Astra Mark 3 might be tested by the end of this year. Beside air to air missile, Indian Air Force is also planning to test anti radiation missiles and long range standoff weapons, regarding which we will be discussing in this video. The next missile that is planned to be tested this month is going to be the new generation anti radiation missile NGARM or Rudra M1. It is primarily being developed for suppression of enemy air defenses seed mission that can be launched from a range of altitudes with large standoff distances. It will be used against targets emitting radio frequency such as ground-based radars and surface-to-air missile defense system. It has launch altitude of 15 km to 500 meters and will have maximum operational range of 200 to 250 km. Rudra M1 weighs around 600 kg with warhead of 60 kg and has a length of 5.5 meters. It has been integrated with Su-30 MKI as its primary test platform and later it will be integrated with Dassault Mirage 2000, Seepcat Jaguar, HL Tejas and HL Tejas Mark II. Rudra M2 will be air to ground missile with a weight of around 700 kg, warhead of 200 kg and range between 250 to 350 kilometers. The missile will use GPS or Navic satellite guidance along with inertial navigation for mid-course guidance and will also feature imaging infrared seeker for terminal guidance. Rudra M2 and Rudra M3 will feature laser altimeter which will improve the accuracy of the missile and are resistant to jamming. The Su-30 MKI is undergoing the modification for carriage and release trials of Rudra M2. The trials of Rudra M2 is also expected soon. Till now, SAW or Smart Anti-Airfield Weapon has been tested 10 times with different types of seekers. It has been tested from Jaguar, Hawkeye Jet and Su-30 MKI and there are plans to integrate it with Rafale and Tejas MK-1A. Su-30 MKI can literally carry 32 saw bombs with them which can take out a plethora of targets. As per the latest report, the test of saw is also planned by Indian Air Force. Saw has a length of 1.85 meters and weighs close to 125 kgs. The bomb has an impressive accuracy with circular error probability less than 7 meters. SAW is a long-range, precision-guided, anti-airfield weapon designed to be capable of engaging ground targets with high precision out of a range of 100 km. It can be used to destroy enemy airfield assets such as radars, bunkers, taxi trucks, runways, aircraft hangars and other reinforced structures. It uses INS GPS and Gagan for navigation. With a range close to 100 km and release height of 12.8 km, it is pretty impressive standoff bomb. SAW uses different types of seeker for its terminal guidance which includes imaging infrared seeker, electro-optical seeker and dual seeker which includes imaging infrared and millimeter wave seeker. On 15 December 2021, the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has handed over SAW to Indian Air Force. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.